back tax and all sorts of other things. We have some budget matters. So he's he's in the chair right now, and I have to go back down. But um, he did ask me to come here to um, to bring to bring greetings and present this plaque. I can tell you that uh, um, uh, in terms of South Asian Heritage Month, it's a, it's a really important month. I think it's really important for the recognition. Um, the South Asian community has grown substantially over the years. Um, you look at uh, our immigration policy and and how many South Asians come to um, come Toronto come to Toronto and make it their home and what a rich and vibrant uh, contribution that they make. Um, I myself of, uh, am of Asian and South Asian heritage, and, and so I feel a, a certain um, a, a, a certain uh, association with that. I, I, you want to get away from the food, the samosas, I think, and the saris. I hope you don't move so far away from the samosas because I kind of like them. Um, uh, so I did want to, I and mean, I think it's really important the city recognizes it. Um, you know, it's interesting. I mean, the city of Toronto, my, my wife's American, and uh, I think the thing that distinguishes us, I go down to the United States all the time, and and she comes up, and, she, and she's living here, obviously. And, and the interesting thing is, I think that distinguishes Toronto and Canada from uh, the United States. You go down there, and what you see um, is a lot of Hispanics and a lot of Black people. You walk on the streets, that, that's what you see. And she comes up here. And, I mean, when we first started going out, it was really different. And I said, well, the difference is, is we have more Asian people here, and South Asian people here, and it's what makes. Um, this city really strong and great, and you know you want to move on, go back to the samosas again. Um, uh, in terms of the food, it's the, it, it's probably like the biggest. It's one of the biggest things, which makes the Indian community, the South Asian community, really fantastic. Um, and then you go to the Asian. I mean, how many Chinatowns do we have in the GTA? So um, anyway, um, I do have this plaque, and I'm going to read it. It says, "Whereas Asian Heritage Month was first proposed by the Canadian Senate." in 2001 and declared by the government of Canada in 2002, the City of Toronto pays tribute to Asian can Canadians and affirms its belief that its racial and ethnocultural diversity are at the core of its strength and success. Asian countries are the number one source of immigrants to Canada. It says it here, so it must be true. Um, and Asian Heritage Month provides an opportunity to pay tribute to the accomplishments of people of Asian descent who contribute to the social cultural, economic, and political life of our city. Asian Heritage Month is a time to showcase, share, and celebrate the significant role our Asian community plays in Toronto's success, growth, and prosperity. Toronto City Council and the people of Toronto have been at the forefront of efforts to establish a caring and compassionate society based on the inherent dignity of all its members by taking a leadership role aimed at eliminating discrimination and disadvantage, and by recognizing that a fundamental strength of our community lies in our unique racial and ethno-cultural diversity. Now, therefore, I, Mayor Rob Ford, if he were here, on behalf of Toronto City Council to hereby proclaim May 2012 as Asian Heritage Month in the City of Toronto and encourage everyone to participate in the activities and events that are planned in the celebration this month and signed by Mayor Rob Ford. So I'll give that to you and, and I wish you all the best. And thank you for